Let's talk about using comments in our HTML and CSS. Comments are any text you want to add to your code, but you don't want the browser to interpret it. Comments won't show up on the web page, so your user won't see them. Comments can be used as notes for yourself as a developer or for other developers who may read your code later. Comments are a great way to clarify your code so it's easier to understand and make it easier to follow or find parts of your code later. Comments can also be used to block out code during development. Symbols are used to denote a comment. Then when the browser is processing the code, it knows to ignore anything within these symbols. The symbols are different for HTML and CSS comments. In HTML, the symbol used to denote that you are starting a comment is the opening angle bracket followed by an exclama exclamation mark and two dashes. Then you type whatever you want for the comment and then end the comment with two dashes and the closing angle bracket. Perhaps I wanted to make a comment explaining why I had two divs with the class banner. I could make a comment above the code explaining that. Or if I wanted to see my page with just one of the divs to see how it looks, I could com out, comment out the second div and then easily bring the code back later if I choose by removing the beginning and ending comment symbols. CSS comments use different opening and closing symbols. To open a comment in CSS, use the slash and asterisk and end the comment with an asterisk and slash. Here, comments are used to denote where different parts of the page's CSS are located in the file. This can help the developer quickly get to the CSS that they're looking for. Comments can also be placed directly after a single line of CSS. This one is explaining one declaration. Using comments is a great way to clarify your code for the developer.